so the time has finally come. We're in St. Augustine. It's one of the most historic cities in the U.S. and a city of many things to do and look at. So you travel vlog about St. Augustine. Let's go. So let's start off our journey in the oldest city in America. St. Augustine has many old and historic things to look at, including the America's first wax museum, the oldest wooden schoolhouse, the old house built in 1702, and many other historic buildings. The best way to travel around and explore St. Augustine, horse carriages, and of course, golf carts. This is pretty cool. We rented this golf cart from a local rental shop. It also has some scooters, four-wheelers, and those same golf carts. And let me tell you, it made traveling and exploring St. Augustine much more entertaining and faster. Woo! Now let's take a look at the main attraction in St. Augustine. This right here is Castillo de San Marcos. It's also known as St. Mark's Castle. It's actually one of the most oldest masonry brick castles here. I mean, it looks pretty awesome. Castillo de San Marcos was built by the Spanish to defend Florida in the Atlantic trade route, and it took over two decades to complete this massive project. To come inside the fortress, you had to pay $15, and when you enter the fortress, you come through a job bridge, where you could take a look at some items that were there a century ago. As you may tell, it's actually made of this material, it's sort of like a seashell texture. It's pretty cool. The majority of the castle is built using the sediments like oyster shells, lime, sand, water, and seashells, which later is compressed into blocks, which fortifies this castle and gives it its unique texture and shape. This fortress also has authentic doors, miniature models, nice architecture, interior detailing, many, many cannons, and also there's this giant. Can you believe this is 18 pounds of fire? That's crazy. We continue our way to the second floor. At the second floor, there's a tower, views of the first floor, views at the ocean, and you guessed it, more cannons. Castillo de San Marcos was a very interesting place to visit, and now let's jump into our next topic. The hotel that we rented out was called Embassy Suits. It had a very fancy lobby, a large outdoor pool, and a breakfast buffet, COVID edition, of course. Now let's take a look at the hotel room itself. The hotel room includes a bathroom, a separate living room, a bedroom, bunk beds, he has bunk beds, sanitized room accessories, and a very beautiful view of the St. Augustine Beach. Wow, this view is amazing. Another cool place you can visit St. Augustine is this beach. This beach right here is called St. Augustine Beach, which is around 10 minutes from downtown St. Augustine. This beach also has a pier, which is called St. John's Pier. And the beach itself, despite it being cold, tourists still swim in it. From the beach, we're gonna go take a look at the next attraction. From our hotel, you can jump into the tour bus, which takes you to the old city of St. Augustine. Once this bus drops you off in the old city, you wait for another tour bus, which this bus takes you around the whole town. Through the tour bus, you can see a lot of old buildings, including the Flagler College, which is a very beautiful architectural building, and another stop is St. George Street. St. George Street is a pedestrian walkway with many vintage looking stores, like pretzel shops, clothing stores, and restaurants. And speaking of restaurants, St. Augustine has many of them, including Salt Life, you're all familiar with that brand, right? 
Cuban inspired restaurants like this one, and casual dine in food like this one. Another interesting place the tour brings you to is the old jail. It's literally an old jail and a museum. Inside of the museum, they have all the historical things from the Native Americans to the Spanish. They have old TVs, tourists, more tourists, and many more tourists, fun facts, military equipment, all kinds of household items, and my personal favorite, this miniature die-cast model functional detailing. And once you get to the tour bus, it takes you back to the city and back to your starting point. So this was St. Augustino's turned out to be a very fun and historic city. Thanks for watching, travel, because it's worth it. See you in the next one.